Okay, folks, welcome to WP Tonic, the WordPress show. And this is episode 91. Hey, Jonathan, just Jonathan and me. Hey, Jonathan. Hello there, Bill, the wizard. So for today's show, we're going to really build on a show that we did for um, the Real Estate Agent Podcast Netcast show, which is Netcast Podcast. It was about using Facebook and the Pixel to really get lead generation. But that really fits into WordPress, Facebook, and the funnel and what we've been talking about for this last month. And yeah, it's not that tough if you dig into it. The uh, WordPress, uh, let's let's go back and first of all, talk about what we know about Facebook, and then we'll show how it can talk into WordPress. And it really fits in because we're talking about the pixel, which you can get off Facebook. You don't need to hire anybody to do that. You can just do it yourself and then buy the advertisement. You can get the pixel right off of Facebook on there. So we're going to talk about how you do that. Put it on your header and then pay Facebook, just a little bit of money to test it and see some amazing things. What do you think? Yes or no. So you, you don't think, you, I think you and I can figure it out with a higher than anybody. Um, the initial, um, the mechanics of actually getting the pixel on your website and getting it to track people that come to your website from Facebook and then track them after when they go back to Facebook is can be a little bit difficult, but it's not the, the real difficult part of it, Bill. If you understand. Yeah, I agree. That. I agree. It's not the real difficult part of it. It's not Dif as difficult as it sounds. The difficult bit is getting um, interaction with your adverts and also setting up a funnel, a landing page, the yellow elements that we've discussed during the month. And, co and converting those people into some action, Bill. Right, right, right. It's the funnel. It's building the funnel. And that is an art. So let's go over this real fast. Um, uh, let's say you're targeting people in an area. You can target in Facebook. You can target a lot of different ways. If you know their email, if you know their phone number, if you know where they physically live, you can target that person if they're using any of those elements on their Facebook, and they will get your ad if you put it in there. Yeah, that's called a custom list. There's, um, my mind is going sem semi-blank here, folks, but bear with me. Um, there, there's what the beauty of um, Facebook is that they offer a number of different mythologies to target your um, adverts on Facebook, much more than any other medium on the internet. And I include Google AdWords and some of the other mediums. Um, you can do it by um, interest, by the websites that people are following, um, the Facebook pages people are following. Um, you can do it by zip code. You there, There's a number of mythologies that Facebook offer to target your right. adverts to. Well, let, that, let me take a step, yeah. step back real fast. I was just talking overall, oh, the big world picture of some of the steps you have to do. Now, let me, let me line up these steps and see if uh, we're catching them all and you can fill back in. The yeah. first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a Facebook business page, which is very easy to do. So if you have a business, create your Facebook business page. Now, you, um, I'm not sure, do you need a physical address for that? I don't think you can use your home, but you, to create a Facebook business page, you have to do that. No, yes. that's, you don't, you don't need, excuse me, disregard what I'm getting. I'm thinking Google on the brain. You don't need a physical address to create a Facebook business page. You just clearly create one. You need the business page to get um, a news feed out ads. So to do a business page, now you can do news feed ads, which you have. Now they have something called Boost. Boost, I think, is a waste of money. But what you do need is you need to get over 30 likes on that page so you can get some analytics. So you need to like and maybe, uh, and there's some art to liking too, but I'm not sure about the art of liking. So don't boost the page. Now, now you go through the ad manager to create your ad. So yeah. with the ad manager, you can create your ad. They've got some good examples in there if you just dig into it. And then um, then the bottom line is from your ad, you need to send them to your website or your landing page or wherever you're going to try conversion. Now, I think that's where you're talking about the technical side of conversion. Conversion is where it gets tougher. Mm, not quite. Um, conversion yeah. will do something. Can you? Go yeah. Ahead. Um, obviously, the, there's an R in your Facebook advert as well. Um, obviously, you've got to play around about how you utilize this micro management that Facebook offers about who 
who you're going to retarget. And it's probably best to do some primitive A to B testing if you can afford it. If like if you've got 20 bucks and you um, try your advert for different groups that you can identify in Facebook. So that's a good way to, you know, try that out for a couple of months, aiming at different of the subsections that Facebook offers. But then the actual look of your advert and the look, you know, um, the look of your, most people, and we're all guilty of this, Bill, tend to throw up a Facebook page pretty quickly. But the actual look of that page and the, the text that you're allowed in that banner background image, which is a key part of your Facebook page, is really important. And the layout of that page. So you need to get it all filled out with content and everything spot on and spend a little bit of time on that. And you're only allowed, in the main background image, you're only allowed 20% of text. But um, actually, um, which drives people crazy, Bill, but um, actually Facebook provide a free tool, which I'm going to put into the chat right now, Bill, that helps you um, deal with this 20% rule of the text you can have on your right, right on yeah. your page and i've just put it in into the chat room um, my first attempts i wasted money um trying to target it around karen's um she has open houses and i wasted money not doing it but you're right about the mechanics are not difficult dropping in the pixel getting it to work and and then digging into the facebook training yeah and for our for our listeners we're we're recording this on blab so that's why i'm saying chat room and pointing the thing um so um Set, spending a bit of time on your actual Facebook page will actually um, help with conversion, um, even if your actual adverts is driving them to your website, to a landing page. Um, also, the other thing that um, Facebook introduced was a mechanism that allowed you um, to advertise even if you didn't have a website. Um, basically, um, they've um, I'm trying to remember what it's called actually, um, but it's left me. Um, they provide a. It's specifically aimed at mobile users of Facebook, um, and basically, somebody on a on a smartphone isn't really. If they're sent to a website and they've got to fill in a form, they're probably not going to do it because they're on a smartphone. So they provided this technology that when they click the advert, it, it, Facebook fills all the details um, from when somebody set up a profile with their, with their face, with the email they put in Facebook and their telephone, and they click it, and those details are then sent to you. So um, they purposely designed that for mobile, Bill. Right, that mobile is 60% of where things are going to. In yeah, so they got that. they got the carousel um, advert type. Um, um, basically, you can upload a gallery of images, depending on the industry that you're in. If you're in an industry where you normally do take a lot of image, the carousel advert can be very effective. If you upload a gallery and you put some text and then people can swipe and they see a, they see a carousel of different images of the product or a house or something like that. So they, they offer a, a varied different kind of formats. So, so, so get back on task, Bill. Um, sort out your Facebook page. Make it, you know, think about your text on your main background image. You've got this tool that Facebook provides. You've got to have a Facebook um, page to actually do paid advertisement, but it's worthwhile spending time. A business time. page. You've got to have a Facebook page. People think that's my Facebook page, my the business page. Well, it's page and profile. Why are you... Why I use the terminology page bill is it, um, celebrities, artists, non-profits... Mm -hmm. Can also have a page so right, it's not right. so it's not solely a business that can have a page but the terminology is page and profile your profile um you, your profile wall and your profile are you gotta you gotta have a profile 
Am I, no, I'm not correcting that. They do change that, folks. I think now you can set up uh, a page without a profile, but it's not recommended. It's recommended yeah. that um, you have a profile. Um, the other thing is you can have different managers. If you set up a page, you can have various different managers that manage the page where a profile it only has one admin. Right. I just dropped a link into uh, Facebook pages, learn, learn now and set up a page. That's a really good link to back through. Uh, the learn now is very good. And there's so much to Facebook now. They're really trying to get into the commerce business and they're competing against Google, of course. And those are the two big dogs right now. Hey, so well, I think about eight minutes. Let's hit a break. Yeah. And then come back off the break and we'll go into uh, WordPress and what we can do with WordPress with the landing pages to get ready for Facebook to make that conversion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming back off the break, I probably should have put a longer pause. Let me pause for a second. Coming back off the break. We're going to go into the WordPress side of this to see how we can fit into Facebook with a pixel. Hey, let's start right away with dropping that pixel in your header. So you go, go over to Facebook. They're going to give you a real simple way to give you a pixel. And they're going to say you can send it to your developer coder or you can self. If you know enough or if you're using Genesis, you can go right into your header and just drop the first part into header. Now you've got your pixel there. And it's a way that Facebook will track when someone goes hits your page. They know you've been on your page and it will give you a report. Yeah, there's also a number of plugins. If if you're not if you haven't got access to the header and you're not or you're not happy, um, Bill's a big Genesis user, so I think it provides an area where you can plonk something code into right. the header area easy. Other themes are not quite so easy, and you literally have to download the header file, which a lot of people just won't want to do. But there are some plugins that will let you do that. I, I haven't utilized one for a while and they do vary. Um go to the go to wordpress.org and have a look at the plugin depository and um find one that's been actively supported that's got a good write up and is from a credible source and try it. Um it used to be a little bit tricky actually getting it to work. I understand now it's a lot easier. Um so let's get back Let's get back to the fundamentals. So um, your Facebook page needs to be sorted out. Um, you need to get to your 30 users. And then you need to know how to use the Facebook Advertisement Manager. Um, and like what Bill says, it's a little bit intimidating, but they're now providing a lot of educate, lot of educational materials. And you just have to spend a little bit of time with it. Um, what you know, first of all, this show is WordPress, and a lot of people who listen to it are professionals in WordPress mm. already because they're they're copying, they're trying to see what we're doing, so they know how to do this. So that can help them too. And our other clientele, other folks that listen, are the people who want to be or want to learn more about WordPress. Well, they're business owners, and they're business owners or business owners, and seeing what they can do. And so they're they're going back and forth, and they're, and they're also talking to their developers about some of these ideas and why you bring me these ideas. So that's the kind of a chat and feedback that we get. Yeah. So we've got um so how the next step, what kind of adverts are you what kind of adverts are you gonna run? Um I I think set up a moderate budget, it will vary depending on the zip code and the area that you're advertising. Um one of the things is that um Facebook Facebook looks looks at how much engagement you you're getting on your Facebook page. And that, even when you're paying, that will be an element on how many impressions they will show your advert to a wider audience, depending on the um, criteria that you've set up that we previously previously stated in this episode. So you've, you can import a mail list. So they look at all that, and that, that will also be... Um, so if you've got a good track record with well-thought-out adverts and you've got a great Facebook page and you've got content that's going on there and you also um, in engagement, um, I'm going a little bit, I just want to mention one thing that's a little bit off-topic, Bill, um, but it's still linked to this. One of the things that you really got to understand that um, they bury it a little bit is Facebook has lists just like Twitter has lists. 
and lists can be really, really a really important thing in subdividing your audience and especially with a page and profile so folks learn about facebook lists and that can help you um get back on topic um so whatever you're going to place well i think a good advert is to boost a post that you're putting on your page anyway um work out so you work out with a few weeks which posts are getting most light most engagement and then when you decide to do your advert choose a post that's on a, a similar cinema a similar subject then the one that got liked the most or got the most remarks or engagement and then John, boot- let's take a step backward here are we talking about your wordpress post or you're talking about facebook facebook because it's what, what it's called a facebook no, post. No, i'm just saying we're going we're okay now let's talk about different business let's target this into different you've got three or four different business we if let's say you have a wordpress agency let's say you have a restaurant and even real estate like we are let's let's specifically tie those in mm-hmm to what you would do. Let's talk about a WordPress agency. Let's say you're trying to make money online with a product or selling a product and you have agencies. What, what would you do there? How can you, um, how would you start? Uh, first of all, you're doing posts. You're talking about uh, something on WordPress, uh, a new plugin, for example, I'm trying yeah. to find a plugin I built. Well, you probably talk about, you know, if you're a regional or a city based uh, WordPress agency, you probably talk about, a client that you've just worked with and the success they got and what were the key factors or you would talk about your engagement. Okay. Okay. I'm talking about that. Now, how am I driving traffic to my site and and I'm trying to get their name, email, trying to turn them into clients? Yeah. So um, first of all, you've got to work out what your audience wants to hear. And like I say, you test that. And then when you find the type of post that gets the most engagement, you set up a page that has similar content. Um, that's that's your initial stage. And then you what you move forward after you've built some traction, you probably go on to more of a um, looking for more of a kind of traditional funnel where you've got uh, either you're seeking to get their email address or you're you're seeking them to actually purchase something, a service, a product, that that's when you're probably going to have to set up a Pacific landing page on your website. And um, that's when you would look at the products that we've discussed at the beginning of the month, lead pages, fry frames, click funnel, all the things that we discussed at the beginning of the month to set up that landing page. That's why all this, what we're discussing this month links in because just doing, doing after you've done your boost posts through Facebook, um, got some analytics, got some feel for your audience. And then you do your traditional, not traditional is probably not the right word, but your more kind of marketing special offer, um, thing through facebook the quality of your landing pages is really going to be quite crucial when it comes to conversion and conversion will be linked to the return you know how much each advert impression through facebook is actually going to cost you that was that was good um and that that tied in everything that we've been talking about lead pages everything that you do so basically you know your lead page is your landing page which which is nice or you can uh, or fry fry um, frames fry frames is a really yeah. good wordpress or, to, or click funnel um we've talked you know there's an um click funnel is an external SaaS service um but it's a kind of uh, upper competitor to lead pages right um that has kind of um developed by some hardcore online marketers but i think the two that would appeal to the audience that we're dealing with um is lead pages or fry themes and and we've had shane on the podcast and shane and his team really understand online marketing and Mm -hmm. definitely understands conversion now, hold that thought. We're going to take a break in a second. But one thing we were starting to talk about yesterday on the real estate show, which really could have fit on the WordPress, was the idea of using, um, if you want to, just your WordPress tools to collect those names and name information. Like uh, when I use uh, a, a good form builder, will actually feed that in. And you can build like a landing page in one of your pages and just direct them right to the landing mm. page on mm. your WordPress site. 
I I I think that's totally possible, and if you want to do that, but I think for like real estate locally, which you're not doing huge lists or smaller lists. Um, I personally would as would still advise people to look either at fry themes or lead pages, because um, they've really spent a lot of time on their landing page templates mm -hmm. and the word the wording, and you can adapt it and put your own word in. It's but fun. they have, but they have spent a lot of time te A and B testing those templates and spending a lot of time working out the level of conversion yeah. and. You'd be surprised, folks. Um, small changes, changes in text size, changes in color scheme, changes really, you know, um, what I mean by changes in color scheme, really minor changes can have a dramatic effect on this, you know, the sign up rate or, you know, can be quite surprising, Bill. So, with that, let's go to a break. And we'll come back and tell you how we can get a hold of you and some of the things that you can do for us. And we'll finish up the show and we'll open it up on the Blab side. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, we are back on the podcast. And first of all, Jonathan, how can the listener get a hold of you and what's your main product? Well, it's WP Tonic, surprisingly, Bill. Um, and we're uh, a national WordPress maintenance, security, backup, and do small jobs for our monthly clientele so if you're looking for a quality um, wordpress support team um, that can do small changes and you have the security of decent backup decent security advice we avoid you having to deal with um, plans, unpleasant hacking um, situation which can be a time sucker yeah, very much so. And the other two, don't forget mail-right.com, which is very important. I'm trying to build out yourself and your backside. And that has to do with the real estate industry and other industries too. It's some uh, a pretty darn good SaaS platform you built there, Jonathan. There's some really good parts. And I was talking to the big guys at Zillow and they actually liked your plugin this week. So uh, they're impressed. They thought there's some potential there and liked it. Never seen anything quite like it. And now let me tell you about me. First of all, I'm Bill Conrad. Our primary source of income is two real estate companies, one in California, one in here. We've, I've been doing backside media and development for a long time, uh, traditional marketing with mail, politicians, and other folks. We have a mail marketing company. Been playing with the WordPress platform for a couple of years now, and also tying it into uh, podcasting. Had really good luck, folks. And we're working on some digital products and LMS, learning management systems now. And uh, so where you can go is to podcastershome.com. And one thing I violate is I really start, really should build them email lists. We do have them on the real estate side and we have the mailing list, but this new uh, world is really changing. So if you want to help us, go to Podcaster's Home, and um, I've taken it down, but I need to put it back up. And just sign up on the newsletter, and it'll also give notices when we have the podcast. And I'm really proud of some of the things we produce. This show itself is ranked number three right now in the WordPress category in iTunes. It's been as high as two, never made one yet. but uh, And we did make new and noteworthy for the first time, had four shows, and that's pretty good. We made new and noteworthy with a real estate show right next to a top. Uh, Tony Robbins. We're on the same place, same screen. Kind of cool to have that screen up. So how can you help us? Um, first of all, my email is bill at conradteam.com. You're welcome to send email. And my phone number is 775-233-8065. And I'll I, I call back. I believe in the phone still. And uh, how can you help us? Go to um, iTunes and go ahead and do a rating and review on any of our shows, any of our four shows. Rating and reviews help. That's how we got new and noteworthy, that along with some good content. And that's sort of how it works. And good artwork, too. So let's figure this uh, Facebook app finishing up. Uh, so any last things you want to say on this episode? And we'll open it up on yeah. the lab. Um, I think another factor is people tend to um, run into doing the advert too quick. The copy, the landing page, the copy of the actual advert, the actual image. You should have a really bold all the the imagery on your Facebook advert should match when they go to the website, to the landing page. You've got to get all the colors, the layout, the imaging, so it all matches. And I, I would doubt that writing the copy for the first time for a Facebook advert, they should just do it. Leave it, go back, ask a couple of people about what they think about the copy, spend a little bit more time with the pre 
working out process before you click the button and place that advert? Let me tell you, if you want to look at some good examples, just go into your Facebook, go on the right side, start clicking a few of them and see which ones you think work best because they'll take you to your landing pages. That's how you learn. Uh, Amazon, of uh, course, is speaking. And I've got one more thing to say, and I'll let you come back and finish it up, yeah. Jonathan. Yeah, sure. Um, and my last question is, and I may sorry, a question, maybe a little learning point here, is in the real estate industry, and I've done a little research on this, is every once in a while you get a crazy real estate agent out there who starts clicking their opponent's uh, advertising on Facebook. You can actually block them on Facebook. So you can put a block in there and block certain IP addresses, certain people to come in into your site. Yeah, I'm going to provide some links in in the show notes, folks, and also they'll be on the video version of this show, folks. Um, basically, a, a, there's a couple of tools that can show you how your competition adverts are doing, and you can actually see which adverts are getting the most response, and that can be a real um, that can. Thanks for mentioning that, Bill. That can really help you. Um, find out what kind of advert is doing best with your competitors and allow you to match them and do better, Bill. Right, right. And get it on their page. And in politics, you're seeing it all the time now. Hey, Jonathan, good cut. Let's finish up the show. I'm going to um, pause the recording here for a second. And thank you for coming on. We'll be on next week, same time on, first of all, tell folks when we're on. We've got to, I want to mention the other shows real fast. And I can cut this at the end. Yeah, um, sure. Recording here. But we are also uh, tomorrow night, Sunday at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific. You'll meet Meet the Voter. We've already done the podcast. It's episode 26 or 27, I think. Just go to Meet the Voter, meetthevoter.com. Uh, next week, we'll have one Facebook site up. Uh, we will be back. Let's see. We'll be back next um, Saturday for this show, right? Yeah, we should be just a blab. Um... So we've got WordPress. We've got timelines. We've got politics. And when you got real estate, the real estate show. Tell them about the real estate show. That, what day is that going to be next week? That's on Thursdays. Thursday, um, it's five five forty five this week. Five it'll be five o'clock. Five o'clock. And who do we have on? Do you remember? Um hopefully we're gonna have um Jonathan Green back on, who's a, uh, a top producer, really great guy. He's based in New York. He's been on the show before and he's been for the past couple of months been using the curator platform be now we'll be, we're going to be asking jonathan how it's been going working with chris smith and jimmy who are quite well known in the real estate marketing sector and um, jonathan's a great guy and he should give us some great feedback bill in that way it'll be a cut so let's open it up to the blab audience thank you and the uh, podcast is all done folks let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my recording here. Excellent time on here. See my little recording? The overall time is 34. That means I have to go through 34 minutes of wave. That means I have to go through 34 minutes of wave to cut it down to about 23 minutes. And that's cool. a lot of cutting. The more I cut and the more I tweak out, the better that podcast gets. Oh, great. I've always wanted to see the list of which WP shows are, are in the top five. Well, you go to iTunes. Let me oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You go to iTunes and um, you got to have iTunes on your computer or, or on your phone or your uh, iPads. But then iTunes have um, the, act <laughs> the actual application. So, um, nine zero. That's a big one. Nine zero. Come up on 100. <laughs> yes, Bill. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I love this. Uh, minus. Yeah, and um, the problem is, Deb, is you got it's round iTunes, which some people just don't like on their on their phone or um, on the on the and I'm not sure about. Am I right about this, Bill? On the Android, do they? Is there just a, I I don't know how the Android works. On the iPhone, you actually get a separate app for podcasts. Um, I'm not sure how the Android deals with it. What? What we should probably do is you can create your own app. It costs about a hundred bucks a show and it can be a free app and you put it on your phone. It plays just your show and has information. It can work on both the, uh, any of the yeah, You need to unlock the seat bill. Some people want to get on. Yeah, I did. I thought I unlocked it. Oh, see, it's right. still locked. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm digging into um, iTunes right now and we'll, you keep on talking and I'll, I'll uh, yeah. So um, to kind of um, talk about, you know, if you've got any websites that you want us to look at, um, we are missing John Locke this morning. Um, he was on earlier, I think he took off after I. We had fun. I had we had a little issue this morning. Uh, Jonathan, yeah. I've been going over fewer guests and more doing actually 
hardcore WordPress and then bringing people on. Hmm. Um, so, so John disappeared. Um, yeah, he's probably, um, away. He's probably yeah, he's probably um, trying to he's recover. A, he's a good guy. He's good. He's, oh, he's a fantastic guy, John. I love him. He's very. So we do want to review a couple of our. Um, yeah, I got some. I got some. I got Let me some. Set up, uh, the Google Google Hangout, I guess. Well, look, this, is, Deb, Deb, let's look at it now. Don't be, don't be shy, Deb. Just give us the URL, and I, I promise not to be spiteful and nasty and be positive. But this is the time. If you're, um, you're looking at developing, redoing your site, Deb, um, it's best to have uh, some third party eyes. I can tell you, Deb, that I've learned a lot um, from people looking at my websites. You know, some, some things you don't do, some things, because if you're looking at a website a lot of the time, you, you miss stuff. You don't even see it anymore because you're looking at it so much. That, you know, it's just, just a fact of life, really. But if you've got any kind of Facebook questions, folks. Um, yeah, I've got one to, for us to look at in a second. Let me just pull this up real fast. Let's go. Um, so this is just a place I'm sort of hanging out right now. We're going to review this website. So the website we're going to view is, I'm going to put the link in here for the show. Now, this is not real full show notes, folks. This is just where I'm parking um, the real estate show. Jonathan, I don't think these are up on show notes yet. You don't know it, but I put 46 and 47. I flip-flopped them. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Because of the, uh, instead of being getting back on, got next show, next week's show is actually recorded already. This was just recorded yesterday. Yeah. So if you go to, um, 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 I thought, it, okay, Just Selling Homes will be the one we review. That's a good one. And it sort of fits in today's show because he's, he, he basically is a WordPress, has a word, uses WordPress as this platform to mm -hmm. um, sell a service to real estate agents. So we can review just this site right here, just selling homes. Let me see if I can flip it in here. Too bad you can't, you can pop up recordings. Heads up, it's not, it won't show in the recording or audio. Interesting. There's the link right there. So just showing homes, we're going to review this site. Mm -hmm. And that's the, this is, a, I, I should know that I can drop it in and find out what the theme is here. I'll just talk about the, what you see in the front. And I'll look up the theme. Oh, you can oh, you put the link here. Yeah. All right. So just, that's the first one. We said we would review his show. Who, who else did we say we review this week? Can't remember, Bill, actually. My mind's gone, gone to mush. To put him down um, for the week. Yeah, I was going to. Um, so basically, um, this was somebody that came on our other podcast, folks, and it's just sell homes, <laughs> and um, it's not WordPress, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, oh dear, it's not WordPress. I don't know, it's not WordPress. <laughs> well, well, we don't. Um, my we only, my only first remark, Bill, uh, is we hit the home page and it's got a background image and it's got a bold statement, just sell homes. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very linked to our previous discussions. Obviously, um, just sell homes. You could actually, if if you're just coming off the internet, you um not sure where to start, we'll handle everything digital so you can. Um, my only technical remark is that I would probably have that underneath just sell homes. And it also needs to be, um, it's merging in the background a little bit too much. The font choice and the size, it's merging into the image. So its readability is a little bit um, poor. But the main thing... You could probably think this is a real estate website, but it isn't. He um, he actually provides serv digital services to agents and brokers in the real estate industry. Um, but he probably feels like we looked at Curator a few weeks ago, and their wording, they've got very... Yeah, minimal, they're really strange. They're very minimalistic. And um, I think that this is a trend, and what is... Um, is they probably looked at their analytics bill and he's looked at his analytics and most of his traffic isn't coming from that natural search. It's either coming, it's either been driven through social media um, from 
posts that he's doing on industry websites from uh, other sources so people are hearing about him or being recommended mm -hmm. and they're from the industry that he's aiming so his wording isn't isn't focused for the general um maybe real estate and um he's optimized the page um and the keywords so when it does show up in natural search it only kind of really shows up when somebody's searching for help with their dig digital marketing in the real estate industry it, bill it, it, we're talking about andrew folio foliano's site he's from toronto canada and he yeah. his, his client are real estate people high producers people making more than two hundred thousand dollars so he can go out and target those. you can find the people making over two that's a good that's another thing about running a wordpress agency or any kind of agency now this is not wordpress but he is building products and services for him he builds websites for him too and you can go out and find those people who are making over two hundred thousand. it's pretty easy to do you can go on zillow look at the production yeah. you can go and and real estate agents are easy to contact because they're trying to be contacted so you can call them you can send them email you can get them on a list towards a personal relationship and he's got a high dollar product. He's probably between around twenty and thirty thousand dollars per client is what he probably charges uh, for the overall package. And these are real high end clients. Now we also talked about Curator, which is in the same area here, doing the same thing. And they're not using WordPress either, are they? Um, yeah, they actually do. Actually, Bill, their 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 core technology that you, that they offer for clients around websites and their own website is done in WordPress, Bill. Um, so basically that's, yeah. so <laughs> that's the, the, so the main the main point I'm trying to make to our audience is that it the really the layout of your website um really depends on how your your the product you're selling and the target audience that you feel that's going to come to the website and how they're going to come to the website and that can affect the look the text the first message bill so when you scroll down a bit more it says stop worrying about keeping up with your latest technology and trends just focus on selling homes yeah, squarespace see that yeah I, I put the code in folks if you go right click and if you have the right a bra plug in your browser you can find the code behind the scene that's actually squarespace yeah 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 please do uh, an agency on square that's unusual I, some people do do that Wow. Yeah, it's fine. It's a great platform, folks. You know, if um, for the right, it's not. You know, I'm a WordPress junkie, but it's um, it's a very popular platform. And of these, we've discussed this before, Bill. Of of these type of um, all in one solutions, they're probably one of the better ones. Um, I'm not a great fan of Wix and Weebly, but um, I think they're fine, Bill, for the right for the right solution. If you don't want to go down the WordPress route, this is probably a good option, All right? So to get back to it, um, and then he's got his free here kind of images. Why you need always to be and these are to his pod his latest pod um, pod posts. And he go down a bit more, and you got the about. Drop those post. links in where you are right now, because uh, I lost you. I'm at home. I'm still on the home page, oh, scrolling okay, down. Okay, but... okay, going down. Got you. Right. And he has got he has got some he actually hasn't got any prices. He just lays out what he does. Um that is strange. He's got plan prices. I wouldn't put pricing, I just say plan. Plan, yeah, because he hasn't um, plan, that's one thing I would make. Big big on you know being not putting pricing on pricing, put plans. Plans are yeah. Well he has got a side list when you go packet. But it doesn't seem to be any pricing. There's no pricing. But yeah. I, I do know um, that's why you got to get into this to understand how much it does take to run this stuff. And we're talking, I was talking about that earlier with um, Facebook in the, in the show and the podcast. Mm -hmm. this, this fits into that, that, you know, I've screwed around with Facebook and spent some money in here and there and I really haven't got any results, but the, he's going to tell you how to get results. And he's he has similar clients across the United States and Canada. So he's going to, it's like a little private group of people to really try to improve. And so his service would not be for like the newbie, right? No, you wouldn't get somebody any. already making over a hundred thousand dollars a year who wants to make two hundred thousand. Oh, well, I don't know what I don't know specifically what his specifically what his target is, Bill. 
Um, That's what I was in real estate and just looking at his clientele list. And it, it's a, when we talk to him, it's top producers. So at least maybe um, if you've got any websites you want us to look at, um, Jonathan, I spent on speaking. film before we come in. Oh yeah. Um, I, I, I actually, um, I actually, why don't you just come in and have a chat with us there? You know, you, um, um, yeah, I, I messed around with Joomla initially yeah. when I was looking, when I got, when I started, um, it, it was all custom design. Um, and you did it in Dreamweaver, um, not the visual side, but it was the main code and then Facebook and, and then Joomla and Drupal. Um, yeah, so um, I got nothing against Joomla, um, but I prefer Face. I prefer. Yeah, we like WordPress. Hey, let me let me show you one last thing I really really do like. If you go under speaking, I just dropped the link in there, Jonathan. Hit that speaking link. Really, really, really like this. I think it's a perfect. In fact, I'm going to use this as one of the examples of how to set up a speaking page. I have links to a couple of different on one of my sites. I, I link best examples and best pages. And where, is, where is it? I just where dropped it? it in there. Just hit the link down there to speaking. Oh, oh this, yeah. yeah sorry. Or you can hit the main page on speaking. Yeah. So I think that's a perfect example. He's got, you know, speaking across the top. He still has his, his, um, his, on the top, he still has the ability to get back to his uh, menu. And then he talks about his speaking, a picture of him speaking, and then a little um, tweak from him actually speaking. I mean, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in build to oh, oh what was that? Um we can to, listen to it. Listen, folks, we can actually listen to this for a couple of seconds. 30 seconds. This is a show. He's having problems with his journey online is Andrew. That's him. I am now. So a lot of what I'm talking about is either I learned from doing it when I was an agent or yes, that's Andrew. You can listen. So, you have your targeting above forty thousand. Listen, listen, listen a couple seconds. Like you really it's only two minutes. Get down. Like most of my ads are actually around fifteen thousand people at most are targeted by an ad. I'd rather spend if I have a twenty dollar budget, I'd rather do four different ads at five bucks a piece. Very hyper specific. Go the more specific you are, yeah, the better as we talk you'll through. get. And that's the, what's great about targeting. Make it as local as you can. Like if you in your area have like this is really good. local landmarks, something that people will recognize, go with that. Yeah. Can we go on to yeah. another one? Do... So that's, folks, I would recommend you go and listen to his little spiel right there. That's really yeah. good. Andrew knows his stuff. I'm putting um, a local college in Nevada, Bill, and they've just redone their website. And they've done a really nice job. Um, it was, unfortunately, it wasn't done in WordPress. Uh, <laughs> it was... It was done in Drupal, folks, um, which is um, very popular in the higher education um, states, kind of large company area where where WordPress can totally compete in, but Drupal has got a lot of foreign. And their website was extremely dated until about a couple of months ago. and they've um, totally revamped it. And um, I think they've done a quite a nice job, Bill. WGU, is that the uh, state state online course? No, um, they've rebranded. It was the um, it was the Western Nevada Community College of Carson City. Um, but they've... Re, they've re, big things in education. They've rebranded. And large... Um, and you You've can got a bachelor's uh, degree available now, so it's not a JC, that's for sure. Yeah, they yeah they're gone. Yeah, they're doing R, right? They're doing associate and bachelor's and masters and masters. Yeah, wow. it's changed. We have some great systems out here in Nevada in this level. Wow. And these type of website folks can always end up being a total nightmare. They can always end up being really very messy. But they've done a nice, you know, they've got a nice um, kind of area showing, a, you know, the kind of student that they're trying to appeal. We welcome to the AGU in innovative and surprising affordable. So they've got they've got a tagline, and in their tagline, you know, they're pushing that it's surprisingly affordable. So that's what they've got one message, and. They're doing a good job. Explore degrees programs in WG. 
So they're not going over the top with the text bill, but they've got the right balance and they're getting in their core proposition straight away in front of the audience, right? And then you scroll down, teaching, IT, business, health. These are the four areas that they specialise in their courses, Bill. So that's clear cut, isn't it? You know, they're saying we, we're we offering affordable... Drop, drop the link where you are right now. Oh, I mean, I'm still on the home page, Bill. Okay. You just scroll down a little bit. I got it, okay. And you've got teaching, IT, business, health. And... Um, Oh, teaching, then, I got you in the very head. Got, yeah. got teaching, you can click it, and it will take you to those. So if I click teaching, it takes you to a specific page that has the information if you're looking to become certified as a teacher, right? This is good. Um, this is, I, this is so, yeah, they've taken a JC and basically made it into um, Western Governors University. And then... Um, so you've got the four, so they've got your four main areas and they've got really clean navigation there, haven't they, Bill? And then then they've got some, obviously, the things that their student base, the research they've done are concerned. Less time, less money. So most of their student base, Bill, have, are in either part-time or full-time employment. Mm -hmm. And they want to get they want to get a qualification that will lead to advancement as quickly as possible for at least money as possible. So that's probably what their 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 studies, their surveys. So they've got less time, less money, better learning experience. So the student wants to do it, you know, with less time, less money, but it's concerned about the quality of the education that they're going to get. Now, this is small and technical, but it's still a mistake that shouldn't be. I found the first mistake on here. That All I right. Like. Where is it, Bill? I just dropped the link, go to the bottom of the page, and it says, watch uh, what works. You should you should not, you should change that artwork or at least make it a hot link so you don't have to go down below and watch and click the link. It says what works. It's NBC News reports on WGU. All right. To the bottom. All right at the bottom, Bill? Now go to the bottom of the, that page I just dropped. For, close to the bottom. It's right. It's about um, five, six inches up from the bottom, eight inches from the bottom. It says um, it, uh, WGU Nevada in the news. It's uh, it's it's NBC reports at WGU at the bottom. Just go to the bottom. At the very bottom of that page, you see that page. It says, "What's is WGU Nevada a good fit for you?" At the very bottom. You can't miss it with the L. Just go above that. Anyway, bottom line is they have the frame for the movie, and they have a play link right in the middle of it, and it doesn't work. You have oh. to go down below, and it says watch the video. And that's the bottom. Oh, you're talking AG Nevada Create to help you succeed? Uh, no, I'm talking about the NBC reports at WGU at the, at the bottom, near the bottom of the page. That page. Uh, I'm scrolling, scrolling. There's a lot about the governor and then AG News. No, so you go to the very bottom. It has degree programs. It goes learn more. All right. Is WGU yeah. Nevada a good fit for you? And then above that is NBC, NBC Nightly News frame. I haven't seen it, Bill. I'm sorry. I'm getting a bit lost there. But you go to the um, very bottom. Did you hit the bottom? It's blue, dark blue. On that link? Yeah, it's dark blue. Yeah, I'm in the dark blue. Foot, the footer. I'm in the footer. The Bill. very footer. And just scroll up. And right above the owl, there's a what works. Big, you can't miss NBC News report. Are we on the same page, Bill? I'm looking at your you link click now. Click the link down below. I just click, click the link. Click oh, right. I see it now. Click the link. Sorry. And they go to the very bottom. Oh, there. that's I'm, I'm on, still on the home page, Bill. And that's why I said the, the link, yeah. So you go down, and then you have the owl, and above that is what works. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, I see. It doesn't There's work. There's no reason to do that. They should fix that ASAP. Or not put the link in there. It should be. Just but this is this has just gone up, and it must be a thousand page website, Bill. So they're probably still dealing with the minor issues that What's come up. What's it cost to build something like this? You said it was. Oh, this must have been between thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Wow, wow, that's this, a lot of work building this. this. It's just they, it probably took them six months. They probably are. Uh, know their web developer, webmaster. He's very experienced. Did you do it in-house or did they contract? Um, I, I'm not sure. I think it was a mixture of both, Bill. I think it was done in-house with some external support. Because they are a tech-based school too. It's state school. It was certainly, it's certainly enormously better than um, um, their, their, their 
design and development team have done a really nice job and um that's nice um it was the other site was really showing its age it was like it was like a seven five to seven year old website now do they have a a, a blog on here anywhere or is it just all information um i don't i think they do have a blog section if you go back to the home page they do uh -huh. Yeah, I think they do. It's not clear actually where the blog section is, but when I was doing a quick look around, but um, um, I think the top part, the the I top part, the I, the four navigations, and then the better learning experience, superior results, and then a get flexible self pace. I think that's fine. When you keep scrolling, then you get the political fin. You get the governor and um um the governor making a statement the video it's, it looks very attractive and then you got your affiliations um the people that are, they're working with um and then you got get to know us and then more from the governor and then you got your news um i just like the layout i love the colors the color choices um, it's very readable, folks, isn't it? Um, um, the color choices, the font, the font, the spacing, it's all very readable, very clear, very well spaced out, the right volume. Um, the other thing I like about it, Bill, is that they've got the H2s, they've got their titles, just the right size with the right font color, mm -hmm. and they've got the right level of information um that you um because it's very different medium a website than the print and i think they've worked out the actual text level which increases as you go further into the website and they're spot on about that bill so that's why i thought i would show it to you bill because i think um a lot of time yeah. and a lot of time and money has been spent on that website and a lot of thought, and I think it shows. What do you think, Bill? I agree 100%. Um, ADA appliant, compliant colors, the you know the cost of doing this. People don't realize how much work it is like art, and it's all digital, so it can be destroyed if it's not backed up and yeah correctly. But it is um, it's a pretty powerful site, and it's fast. Shall, shall we go to the Nevada University? Um, go to the Reno University. UNR. Yeah, let's go to UNR and compare them. That's good, and we'll finish up for today. It'll be good. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, UNR, very, we, we're fortunate, I think, for higher education in Nevada compared to our side. Both UNR and Las Vegas is the core. And then what they've done, they've, they've taken the junior colleges and they've sort of made them now so they have higher degrees within the junior college. Very affordable. Very affordable to go to school in Nevada, believe it or not, unless, as long as you're a resident here. And a very good education. And, very, and make, this is UNR, and we just put the link in there. And that's just, you know, I can walk there in 45 minutes from my home. We live in a very beautiful place. Yeah. So um, they've got, you know, um, I don't actually know technology. Um, I'm not sure if this is done in WordPress or Drupal, actually. Yeah. I think, I think they were a Drupal shop, actually, Bill. Um, I'll tell you in a second. I've got a little fin on my, on my other browser. It's a JavaScript. Just give me a second. I've got a little um... uh, Java good management. I'm looking at the JavaScript right now. Java, Java. I don't know, maybe not. I'll customize. Um, well, with Drupal, it doesn't actually give you a lot of evidence about what it's built in. Mm -hmm. um, but I've got a little um, something that tells you here. I've got a couple of tools I'm running through right now. Um, it looks like it might be ASP, which is Microsoft, actually. It looks like it was done in Microsoft, actually, and using uh, Dreamweaver. So I... Dreamweaver? Yeah, the, well, it's fine. You know, it's a development tool. If you're not using the visual editor, if you're just using it as a text editor, it's fine, Bill. Um, but there used to be a Drupal house, but this looks like it might be based on um, Microsoft technology. And Dreamweaver, wow. Yeah. So this is a very large website. They've got um, two full-time developers on staff, and they also utilize the services of um, 
and um, it, it's morphed a lot over the years, folks. They've got this, which is very popular. Um, they've got this background video playing in their hero in the before the cut, mm-hmm. and then they then you they've got their statement: the University of Nevada, Reno. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that because isn't it pretty evident? It's the you know I maybe would have had it. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have used because it's pretty obvious you're going on to the University of Reno. So they got that, and then one of the nation's top public research universities, yet small enough to connect with your press guy. So obviously they've done their research. So people are looking. The research is important, and but they, it's small enough so it's still personable. That that must be things, and then you got um, you got three buttons underneath national tier one education, vibrant campus experience, meaningful opportunity. Um, it like I say, you've got the video, but the text is clearly readable, isn't it, Bill? Um, I would say, um, and then you have got these three buttons, where which are the three propositions that they research their target audience, which I would suppose are students looking to go to the university what's important to them and then then they plug this national tier one education again bill so they're really plugging that hard Mm -hmm. and then then they provide some figures what does this mean for you so they're where a lot of people with websites go wrong folks is they talk about themselves um that's deadly well they are talking about themselves here though well, they're talking about what their target audience. Well, what does this mean to you? They're trying to target the audience, what it means. What does it mean to you? It means they have a broad range of degree. Pro- so um, and when they're founded, from- yeah. na- National Merit Score degree program. So, so these are the, I would suppose, these are the things that they feel that um, their target audience want to know and would encourage them to look into coming to this university mm-hmm. when they're on a short list. Um, so that's what it, and um, I would say the other thing is um, nice color choices. I personally don't like, I think the actual one, the actual Western, the used to be called the Western Community College. It's not a college, that, community college anymore. No. The, um, the, uh, I actually like it more than this. But you can still see in this website that the space in the choice of headers, the, the amount of text that they're showing you, and as you scroll down. And, uh, yeah. So as you scroll down... They've got like the student, the meaningful opportunities. Let's listen to this for a second. That's their site. That's pretty loud, isn't it? They got yeah, you just did for me, Bill. Well, that, that's, them. <laughs> that's them pushing up. Um, you can do that. What I just did, let me show you, folks. What you can do, um, there's in the broadcasting world, there's looms, there's rules and regulations about what you can do online, there's none. So that's no. why the uh, Zilla, uh, that's why your uh, Roku and all those TVs can push the commercials up. So I just hit their uh, one of the sites, and that's what popped up right there. I just yeah. put the link in, and that came to your site. I don't want to play it because it's too loud. No, that was just too loud, wasn't it? That was ridiculous. Wanna, tell me real fast. I'm going to do a test real fast. Eh, I don't think this will work, but is it still loud? Let's see if this is loud. Yeah. That's still loud. Let me let me turn it off. Yeah, very loud. So that didn't work. It's, no, I don't think there's any way I can adjust that sound from my side. Very annoying, isn't it? It's too loud. So I think we wrap up now, Bill, but I thought I'd show a couple of educational sites because they normally have a lot of money and time spent on them. And could, I think, could you see that in both sites with their layout, the colors, and mm-hmm. how they use? You get to a lot of people's sites and they've just got too much on their home page. They haven't spaced it out enough. Right, right. So anyway, I think that's a wrap for today. I've got my work now. Remember, I got folks. I got two more hours to get this podcast worked on. That's what I show notes. Yeah, I'll get the notes up this afternoon, Bill. Also, um, just let me pause. So, side note: Did you Bill's website to fill in a, a very quick form? And that's it, really. We schedule it. I've had the quick, quick chat. They filled the form in, and we're ready to go. So we don't ask too much from them, do we, Bill? 
No, and if they don't have the form filled out, unless they're like a really top person, like Push Mullenweg or somebody, yeah. even them, everybody should fill. Even the top folks should fill out the form. It only takes five minutes. Well, they can. They will. They're gonna have somebody that do it for. And they them. have somebody that'll do it. Yeah, I just I'm 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 tired because after 500 podcasts and making some good numbers, having success, and when someone gets on my show, one of my timelines, it boosts their numbers. It doesn't. It it does okay for me, but. I'm getting more critical now of what works, what doesn't work, time management, things of that nature. So it's not overly, I have a little chat with them folks for five, 10 minutes, five minutes at most, just to see, so they understand what the show's about, check the sound quality and if they've used Blab before, because when you first come on Blab, it can be really confusing about how you set up your camera. So I go through that little icon in the address bar and how it basically works, and I check out their sound. Then we, and then they go over to Bill, and we're rocking and rolling. And it normally works, doesn't it, Bill? I don't think anyone was up here on an earlier show, but we had someone come on. No, uh, don't go there, Bill. Yeah, I saying someone come on and tell you the truth. This um, this show is probably too long on uh, yeah. on yeah. Um, on the recorded part on the Blab. And Blab also the sound has a lot of clicks. You can if you listen to uh, the WordPress. Yeah. I think, but, I think bunning it out on YouTube, but having a short YouTube as well. So if you, you send did one, you did a 10 minute YouTube. If you send both, um, so because I'm a host, I'll get this automatically. But if you send me the you send me the Google Hangout yeah. through Dropbox, I'll bun them both on WP Tonic. I will. And uh, use uh, iTunes for all your reference for the numbers. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll get that sorted out for the other show tomorrow. And But what I do is if you send those, I'll get them up. And um, what I do is I get the notes ready this afternoon for the WP Tonic, so it's all set up ready for you, Bill. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's been a long Saturday morning. It's been interesting for those who hung in there. Yes, yeah, the same has been interesting, Bill. Would be uh, it's always interesting with you, Bill. It's always yep. interesting. All right. Take care. Take Bye. Care.